When you encounter untrusted files online, scanning these files with an online analysis tool, such as VirusTotal or Sandboxes like any.run, hybrid analysis, and so on. Useful, but because online scanners report their findings to security vendors, not something you would use for testing your own payloads. A safer alternative to VirusTotal is CleanScan. You just have to make an account before you can start scanning. In case uploading custom payloads to internet scanners still seems like a bad idea, there are many alternatives that could be used. The first demo will cover tools for checking Windows payloads. But before moving to the Windows machine to double check if our obfuscation is enough, we will create a very basic test payload with MSF Venom to be later obfuscated. Whatever shellcode or payload you want to use is fine, but in this case we're just going to use MSF Venom because it's quick and easy. Basic dot basic.bin our raw shellcode payload has been created to compile basic.bin to a valid executable i'm going to use this heap ratoon script which doesn't work but will be sufficient for the demonstration in this video so we pass in our basic file and then we'll output it to fail.exe because this tool is not enough to get past defender now that we have our compiled file i will move it to the windows machine if I can type, of course. Moving to the Windows machine, we can see Windows Defender is disabled because that's not the goal of the video. The goal of the video is tools for verifying what is getting flagged in your payloads and how you can determine what is and so you can fix them. IWR, we'll just web request this real quick. Fail.exe to show, fail.exe. Full screen, our PowerShell prompt. One of the command line utilities you may use is threat check, which is kind of falling off the screen. So threat check, dash F, and then your file, and then the name of the file, and a threat has been found. It will split the bytes until it finds the bad bytes of what's getting flagged by Windows Defender. In this case, this block of text, and that's about it. Useful, but it's not the most verbose. Instead, we can use another tool called Litterbox which is a Python-based tool that is a collection of different analysis tools for Windows binaries. I have the tool installed already in Users, Oreo, Tools, Litterbox. After you get clone Litterbox, do pip install-r the requirements. Make sure everything is running properly. To run it, we would do Python Litterbox. The problem is we need to run it in an administrative prompt. To quickly open an administrative Windows prompt, we'll hit the Windows key, type in CMD, and do Control Shift Enter. That will bring up UAC, user access control. We just hit yes, and now we have elevator permissions. Make this a little bit bigger. CD into users Oreo tools letterbox tools letterbox. And then like before, doing Python, Letterbox. It gives us a HTTP website that's locally hosted. All we gotta do now is open up our web browser of choice. I'm gonna use Firefox. You can use whatever works for you. At first glance, you'll notice that some of the supported file types for Windows payloads are missing, like PowerShell. But for testing our executable EXE, it'll be perfectly fine. We can upload our payload by clicking here or clicking here and then selecting our file. Fail.exe, it will upload the file and we have two options. We can do static analysis or we can do dynamic analysis. Let's start with static analysis. A threat has been found and even though the Yara rule didn't catch it on the static analysis, check please, which is kind of like threat check, caught it. Check in the check please tab, we can see that it determines it is a interpreter payload and it flagged on these bytes. From here, we can click on start dynamic analysis. However, I'm going to set up a quick listener to show that it will execute the payload. And then after the scan has finished, it will terminate the process and whatever is being analyzed and the shell will terminate because the process has ended. So click on dynamic analysis, hit proceed. 
as that's running, we will get a shell. And now that it's finished, our shell is terminated. A thread has been detected, but because it was tested with dynamic, the YAR rule found suspicious activity on top of a bunch of other different types of Windows analysis tools. To see the official score of our scan and to go back to previous scans, we can go to the results tab. And our fail.exe is 100% critical, which means our obfuscation technique was not enough in the slightest. This is great, but what if I don't have a Windows machine for testing my obfuscation tools? The second demo will cover verifying custom payloads on Linux. But before going over those tools, I'm going to build some new payloads with three generic MSF Venom payloads and copy over the fail.exe to this directory to make it more organized. With a simple bash script, With all the binaries compiled and moved into this directory, we can start testing with our first tool, clam av. You can install it with sudo apt install clam av, which I already have done. And then before testing to make sure that all of our definitions are up to date, we could do sudo fresh clam, type in our password, and we can see our database is already up to date. Clam av is a subcommand of three different commands, clam bc, clam scan, which is what we're going to use to verify our payloads, and clam submit. I'm not going to be submitting anything to the cloud, so all we need for scanning our payloads, we'll do clam scan and then path to our file. In this case, we'll do them in order, so msf win.exe, and we'll scan the file. After the scan has finished, it will give us a short summary. In this case, it flagged our MSF WinEXE as a generic Windows malware from Metasploit. I'm going to run through the rest of them. Win.exe, which is our basic reverse shell payload, gets flagged as Windows Trojan shellcode. Our elf, our win.elf. It's flagged as a Unix backdoor MSF Venom. However, if we do clam scan on our fail.exe, it seems like it passed the check and it says the file is okay. Clam AV is very easy to use. However, the output isn't very verbose. It seems like it's missing a bunch of signatures and might not be the best for verifying our obfuscation techniques. Another tool we can use is called Quickscope, which I've already pulled. Quickscope is a Python-based tool, so instead of messing with a bunch of dependencies, we're just gonna run Quickscope in Docker, which I've already built with this command. I already have a command at the ready, which is gonna be docker run, and we'll set our path to our www directory where we created the payloads. And then the data directory will just be the docker path. For this, we'll just run the dash H for the help. To show that it's working. And to double check that it's been updated, we'll run the db update command, which will update the database of all the signatures. All right, that's good to go. Now to analyze our payloads. So to start, we'll do quickscope file path as data to match the directory for Docker, and then fail for, this is the wrong directory. Dub, dub, dub. And now it's able to analyze this file. Now that the scan has completed, we have a lot more useful output of fail.exe. Just go to the top docker. All right.
even though there's a lot of useful output that can be used to improve our obfuscation tooling, in this case, the default YAR rules that come with this tool did not match our fail.exe. However, if we change the binary to our win.exe and analyze that binary, we can see that there's a YAR rule that flags it as malware interpreter stager, except our default interpreter payload, msf underline win.exe, if we analyze that file, there's no YAR rule. And then checking the last file, blin elf, there's no YAR rule. Luckily for us, quick scope is very easy to modify and include additional YAR rules that may be missing in the default configuration. We're gonna cd back a directory and git clone some new YAR rules from this GitHub repository. cd into YAR exploit and we want our Windows ones, right? All we need to do is copy all the YAR rules into quick scope and then we need to put them into the windows directory so in this case it will be in the quick scope systems windows yar rules directory all that's left to do is rebuild the docker container before using it so it has all the new yar rules quick scope videos verify quick scope and i'm going to rebuild the docker container so it has all the new YAR rules. All right, perfect. Now, if we scan our msf win.exe like before, we can see if we scroll up that all these new YAR rules are detecting the payload. You can mix and match what YAR rules you need to make this tool more useful. And that concludes this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you found something useful. All the commands will be in the description. Anything that can't fit in the description, like the failed evasion tool used during the first demo, will be put on my GitHub if you would like to modify the code and make it work again. Hope everybody's doing well, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.